We're going to talk about pixels today. Um, we're using Adobe Photoshop Elements. Photoshop is one of many different types of pixel based image editors. A pixel is the smallest unit that makes up the image here, these tiny little squares. Okay, these are all different pixels. And any kind of, not any image, most most all images and most photographs certainly are made of pixels. There's another type of image called a vector-based image, which is used more to create graphic design and text and things, posters that need to be printed at a very large scale. And they typically would not have as much detail as a photograph would. Um, because if you need lots of tiny little detail and subtle changes in colors, pixels are the way to go. Um, Okay, so hopefully we at least know what pixels are now. There are those tiny little dots. They're the smallest unit that make up an image. And all photos are made up of pixels. When you buy a camera or a phone that comes with a camera, <coughs> you get a certain number of pixels in that camera. You get a 12 megapixel, it means 12 million pixels. Okay, so let's look at the dimensions here of this image. This image is made out of 4,000 pixels. 4,032 uh, wide by 3,024 pixels high. Okay, and this is the telling us how large this file is. And it's also, this is how many pixels make it up, but pixels, the size of pixels can be different. Okay, and so we also need to know not only how wide and how high, how many pixels, but we need to know what size the document is in. We could have, um, the same number of pixels spread across one inch or a thousand feet. All right. And so this particular document is 13.44 inches wide by 10 inches tall. And the resolution is 300 pixels per inch. So this is the other important part. It's a combination of all of these things. I know this is a little bit confusing, but hopefully we'll try to straighten some of these things out. Let me do this here. Let's say I change this from 300 to 72. You'll see that we haven't changed the number of pixels, still 4,032 wide by 3,024 high, except the size of the document has changed now. And it is now 56 inches by 42 inches. So the pixels were just kind of redistributed to maintain the same number of pixels. Okay, now we could, I'm going to come back to that idea in another image here in a few minutes. Let's go back, I want to talk about this 300 pixels per inch for a minute. Okay, if we look at this document, here's 0, 1 inch, 2, 3, 4, all the way across, and down this side as well. Okay, so if we were to zoom in here, let me draw a one inch by one inch box, if I can, there we go. Let's place it right there. Okay, get a little preview of some things we'll be doing here in Photoshop. I'm just going to outline this selection. I'm gonna pick this red color here just so it kind of, now let's pick something different just so we can really see what it looks like. Okay. And if we look at this uh, one inch square here, there's going to be 300 pixels across. I'm not going to count them, but 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. We're a third of the way there. Let's see. That's not bad. 200, 300. Anyway, there'd be 300 across and 300 down. And 3,000 times 3,000 would tell us how many pixels altogether make up this little square, right? Uh, okay, we're going to take a look at another image. Same image at 72 pixels per inch. We're going to look at this one and we'll see 
This one is still the same size. The other one I changed to 72, but it was still 4,000 pixels wide. This one is 1,000 pixels wide, less, less than 1,000, so a quarter of the size, and 72 pixels per inch. Okay, we're gonna look at this. Hopefully we can see already we're seeing really uh, a lot of pixelation, which is the how visible the pixels are. Okay, you see this a lot on images you see on the find on the internet. Um, one of the reasons is because they want the file to be smaller. Okay, again, if we go to the size, this image is two megabytes. Okay, we went back to this one, if you remember, I think it was 34, 34.9 megabytes. Okay, so uh, it's actually a little different just than that, but it gives us a good guideline here. Um, and yeah, sorry, I just want to clarify that. Those are the, the pixel dimensions. It's not actually the exact size of the file, okay, but it's going to give us an approximate size in terms of the difference between the two sizes of the files, okay? When I actually save this, it might only be one megabyte or something, okay? Um, okay, so let's go back to this. Hopefully we can see that's a, a massive difference. In order to get that level of pixelization here, okay, we got to get really close. Let's go over this one. This one is resized down again to 30 pixels per inch. You can see this is only, oops, I'm going to cancel that. I moved the, uh, I was changing those accidentally here. I don't know what it initially was, so I'm just going to cancel. But you can see it's 30 pixels per inch, and it's only like 400 pixels or something, much smaller. Again, when we get really small, or when we zoom in really close, right, we can see we're losing a lot of, information here okay and let's do this images uh, tile we're going to tile these okay we're going to go image uh, match location okay so this I'm going to have to change this a little bit here we're going to see Roughly, this fourth one here, we haven't talked about this one um, quite yet. We're going to look at this. Okay, so here's the original image, 300 pixels per inch. As a sort of reference point, this is shot with my, with my phone. Okay, this is the way that the image kind of came out, this size, this sort of image quality. Um, and this is an image, by the way, that I took at the Detroit Institute of Arts. They had a really cool um, Star Wars exhibit there. And they had all the costumes from almost all of the characters in Star Wars, from the original uh, Princess Leia costume and all the way through to like Darth Maul and some newer characters. Uh, it was super cool. They had a room, like a whole room would be full of all the different dresses that Princess Amidala wore. And they had the Chewbacca costume, they had the real R2-D2 there, it was super cool. Um, and they had these big setups like this, this like this lightsaber duel here. Um, anyway, um, okay, so this is the original, 300 pixels per inch. And here this image, 72 pixels per inch, 30 pixels per inch, and this one, This one here has been what we call upsampled. So I get this question a lot, right? We've got this image you got from the internet, and you're saying, well, it doesn't, it looks too pixely. Okay, it doesn't look so good. Is there any way I can improve the image quality of this image? The, you sort of can, and maybe using some, there are, is some more advanced software that can do a little bit better job of this than what what Photoshop would do right out of the box here, but um, I'm going to close this one just to declutter a little bit here. Where? Okay. And did I lose my other image? I may have lost it, didn't I? Oh, oh there it is. Okay. 
There we go. We want just these two. Okay. Okay, so we've got this image we got from the internet, 72 pixels per inch. Can I improve the image quality here? You sort of can, you sort of can't. Depends if you think this looks better than that uh, is what that depends on. And you can see that there's no pixels. The pixels aren't really there. They are, if we get close up, we'll see them. But um, it's essentially, what, what's happening is we're gonna take this image, okay? And instead of just changing this to 300, you'll notice right now this is 968 pixels. If I change this to 300, oh, this was resample was on. That's what I wanted to talk about. I was trying to do it first without the check mark on. Um, I'm gonna cancel this and do it again. Resize image size. If I don't resample it, and I just change this to 300, we'll see we're not changing or resampling how many pixels make up the image. Okay, we're just changing how many is in every inch. Okay, there's 300 pixels in every inch here, 72 pixels in every inch here, and we're not really, it's just changing the size, but it's not changing if you were to print them out on the same size piece of paper, they're gonna look ex completely identical, okay? These images are gonna look exactly the same at, at a given size, okay? If they're both the same size. Um, however, if we resample this like this, okay, what we're asking the computer to do is in every inch of this document, Right. Uh, we're asking the computer to count, take all these 72 pixels across here and turn it into 300 pixels. Okay, so let's just to make the math easy, let's say it was 100 pixels and we're going to 300 pixels. So we need three pixels for every one pixel that we had. So the computer has taken this pixel and it's got to kind of figure out or interpolate what, how to break this down into three pixels. Okay, and that's not super easy to do. Maybe it looks at this one next to it and it says, well, maybe we pick a color in between. And, you know, we end up with a pixel in between here and it'll make it square. I'm making a little rectangle, but uh, that would be in between these two values. And so it goes through the whole image and it follow some sort of algorithm and there's different ones to, to resample images. Some are better than others. Um, and you're going to end up with something like this that looks like a blurry version. And so to me this looks worse. When you zoomed out like this, I bet there'd be about the same. You know? Um, let me get rid of that box. And this one, in my experience, would probably look a little better still. Yeah, it just looks soft and blurry, right? Um, Definitely it looks worse. Okay, so the short answer is no, you can't make your image look any more clear than it is. All right? Um, so, should I say that's pixels? I don't know. I think that might be it for this video. We'll have to talk more about this later.